Okay, so this week we've been learn talking about Ukraine and learning about Ukrainian culture. It's kind of a focus. We do a different country every year. And the first thing that I have in my hands here are some images of embroidering, traditional embroidering and the designs from Ukraine for different cloths, for clothing. There's some simple drawings, embroidery patterns. And as I was looking at these patterns, and seeing these designs, they reminded me of other types of artwork. So I have these embroidery patterns, and all these little, you can almost see it's like a grid from the fabric that they're stitching in, reminded me of kind of graph paper. So I have graph paper here, and all those little marks in there remind me of kind of early pixel-based art. You can kind of see the grid on this one, and how there's blocks like that. It's so almost like the fabric and how you're stitching in the designs of the embroidery. And all those pieces also made me think of mosaics. And a lot of times mosaics, when you have the cut pieces, these are called tesserae. A lot of times, this one has like triangles and rectangles and they fit together. But a lot of early traditional um, mosaics had square tiles. So those squares, again, are very much remind me of this pixel art and these patterns, when you look closely, they look like little squares. So all these things kind of related to me, this old traditional folk art with kind of a traditional mosaic and then the idea of pixel art. So I have these mosaic tiles, they're just paper tiles, and I also have grid paper. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create some simple designs. Now I can give the kids a choice of, they could color these in and draw them that way, but they seem to be, uh, they seem to enjoy these kind of mosaic tiles. So we're going to just take some paper tiles, and it's nice because they're colored on each side, and I'm not worrying about finding all the same color, because I think that would be pretty challenging. As you can see, this horse has many colors. So the, the tesserae that we're using don't quite fit on here, but I think that grid paper kind of gives some lines to help line them up, and people can think about what they might make. I think I'm gonna start with something really simple and I'm gonna make a flower. Now I think that it would be easier to draw with pencil first. And I also think that putting glue on each individual tesserae here would be very frustrating. So I made a little glue line and I'm gonna pick up my tiles. I have found that it's easier if I just slide them off the table to grab them instead of trying to go like this and pick them up. Oh, I got that one, but sometimes that's not so easy. So I'm gonna make my stem. And again, my students are certainly welcome to use the same colors, but I think that's gonna take a while to sort colors. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make my flower with random colors. And this is just, um, a glue stick so even though I'm being you know, kind of going outside the boundaries that I want to use that'll dry and it's not going to bother me too much. So I think this is kind of a neat combination of kind of looking at how they used a style when they were doing their embroidery and kind of fast forwarding to some other types of art and making connections between different styles of art and the different materials. I mean embroidery and mosaics and computer art are pretty, pretty spread out, kind of very varied types of media to make artwork. That's a good example of media. Embroidery being textile arts, mosaics being tile and kind of ceramic and grout. What kind of flower I'm gonna make here? Let's see, maybe it'll be a tulip as I go along here and then computers. So we have a real variety of materials that we're comparing and kind of creating art based on. Doop. All right, and I can, if I want, just put on an individual one, but like I said, I find that very tedious and I would imagine if it's tedious for me, my students would find it the same way. Wait. 
So I have a very simple tulip. And it's very similar to my mosaic and this embroidery pattern and an actual tile mosaic.